and its detente over Dayton. This is the CBS Evening News. Connie Chung reporting. Good evening. President Bush is meeting tonight. Afterwards, Lamont put on the coveted yellow jersey, symbolic of his victory. New revelations today about a key figure in the savings and loan scandal. The New York Times says Phoenix businessman James Fail received quick FDIC approval to buy an insolvent Oklahoma bank at a bargain price, despite his history of legal and regulatory problems. FDIC officials concede the agency made a mistake in not making a more thorough check of Fail's background. Much has been said about how the savings and loan scandal will cost the taxpayers millions, but it may also have a big impact on would-be homeowners. This is a lot right here, boy. We're going to build a house on them right here. This is going to be a brick house. For Herbert Ball, the dream of building his own house is coming true, thanks to his local savings and loan, one of the few in Mississippi still in operation. When I tried a Magnolia Fellow, and they uh, granted me a loan for everybody else. I couldn't get one. Because of a marginal credit history, Ball had been turned down by two banks and the FHA. Finally, his local SNL tailored a loan for him. It's one of the things SNLs were created more than 50 years ago to do, to help local people finance their homes. We feel that we're able to make these loans because we're here in the marketplace. We know the properties and we know the individuals. Traditionally, savings and loans have helped those, especially in rural areas, get home loans that banks were not interested in handling. But in the aftermath of the savings and loans crisis, many people in small communities may not be so fortunate. Across the country, experts fear there is a crisis brewing. What is clear is that an increasing number of small communities no longer have access to the SNLs that they've depended on over the years for that mortgage lending. In Mississippi, 10 SNLs in rural areas have gone out of business. Another nine are failing and can no longer issue loans. Already, realtors say it's going to be a lot harder for people with marginal credit to get a home loan. Some believe it will exclude them from the American dream. And see, the Constitution guarantee us life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And there's just really no life if a guy cannot buy a house. The economic problems of these small towns have experts worried about financial stability in already tough times. Falling through the cracks of a uh, crisis in rural America, a job crisis, financial crunch, and you throw in that the fact that they can't get housing financing, then you've got a real serious problem out there. According to the latest estimates, it will cost more than $500 billion to bail out the SNLs. The cost to people who depended on them may never be known. And that's our news. Dan Rather will be here tomorrow, and be sure to join Bill Plant later tonight with the CBS Sunday Night News. I'm Connie Chung in New York.